Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Worship Gunner, the second playthrough. Last time we did mission B9, and I had to cut the episode just a little bit short because I ran out of time. Um, still have not had time to farm mission B5 yet, but should be okay for now. Today, on the docket, mission B10, but wait, didn't I say I was going to do something else before I started that? Did I say I was going to look at engines? Um, no, I can't. Oh, I said I was going to wait until I have more money, then look at buying engines. That's right. So that means that uh, our best move now is probably just to jump into Mission B-10. And see what it has for us. Reading communication from Mission Command. Destroy Archaeopteryx. Understood. If this bomber is not stopped, Operation Veraldindir will turn the territories under FF protection into a graveyard. Yeah. The last FF assault bad. was disastrous. Our fleet was completely destroyed by Archaeopteryx. There mm. isn't much time before Veraldindir gets underway. Yours is the last ship in the area. You must attack alone. Your only chance is speed and enough anti-air capability to protect yourselves while you blow it out of the air. Somehow, you have to destroy this super ship. Prepare to make speed. Good luck. I feel more comfortable taking the twin hull battleship into this, but it doesn't have our auto-reload system. And this might do pretty good with having the planes on here and stuff, so we'll just bring the Death Star and see how it does. Alrighty, here we go. Get our noise interference. Could that have something to do with the storm that we're in? Nope, it's our Capterix. Alrighty, well. Uh. Oh, there he is. Archaeopteryx on Archaeopteryx. That is on oh, attack heading. So it's, it's a twin hold bomber, basically. Or twin fuselage bomber. Oh, he's way faster in this game. Okay. Or maybe he's not. I don't know. Hard to say. Wow. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of health. Uh, yeah, that's gonna miss. And... Yeah. Uh-oh. I can't seem to... Oh, because I turned way too far. Turn on the guns. Well, this is, uh... That was, uh... Huh. That was something. Um... Is that all? We didn't get mission complete. From the Eastern Quadrant. Oh, not now, analog stick, please. Is it another super, super ship? Probably. What one, though? Which one is it? I can't see yet. Hang on. I'm gonna grab all these parts crates, because they might be good. Okay. Now, what the heck is it? I can't see it yet. Oh, is it... Is it Dreadnought again? Um... Dreadnought? Is that you? It is. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Messing with the analog stick again. Um... There you go, I just lost him. Oh, there he is. Hello. Or it's not Dreadnought, it's another sub? It looks like Dreadnought, though. It's really big. Okay. Um, I did forget to launch my planes again. But... The railgun... The machine gun rail guns did the job, so it's fine. Um, I mean, oh, oh, it's Nautilus in this game. It's not Dreadnought. Unless this is actually a different ship from the last one. It's another Dreadnought. Okay, so it's a different name, same ship, I guess. I don't know. Twenty-four thousand health, so not too scary. Whoops, lost the lock on that last one there. Surface already, come on. You know you want to. You know that you want to, just do it. Accept your fate. Why won't you surface? You're being so annoying just because you won't surface. He's hurting a lot, too. Minor damage. Medium damage. Stop it. Oh, get out of the way. There we go. And I gotta stop, because if I don't stop, then we're gonna... 
get out of range like this. Surface already. Maybe this guy isn't going to surface, and that's what makes him harder. All right, well, while we're out of range, let me try to... Oh, 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 there's a little tiny sweet spot where I can hit him and he can't return. Never mind. He's, here he comes. Uh, I need to get away so I can repair. Um, and we should be good to go back after him again. Just need to repair real quick. He doesn't have a lot of health, but considering I'm forced to use anti-sub weaponry... Uh, which, by the way, we did get that Rotac laser, and that's an anti-sub laser apparently, but I also got another subsequent comment about not to use that for this mission. Which is unfortunate, because it actually would have been great in this mission. But, oh well, too late now, we're here now. 13,200. That's not a lot of health, it's just that I can't do that much damage that quickly with anti-sub weaponry. Oh, finally! Thank you. Goodness, what do we have to do? Get him down to like half health? Alright, I feel much better about this now, because... Guess what I have for you, sir? Railgun party! We're only doing 500. Hmm. Oh, if I hit certain spots, it does better. Yes, it does. Or it's when I... I don't know. Oh, wait! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, the real guns do more damage or less damage sometimes. I guess it does depend on where I hit it. I just wasn't too concerned about aiming that precisely for little sweet spots. Alrighty. Uh, that went pretty well, all things considered. Probably even had good accuracy. I don't know if we missed any of our shots with the uh, rail guns against uh, Archaeopteryx, so... Yeah, I'd say that was pretty successful. Um, I guess we'll just head on out of here then. Because that went pretty well. I'll take it. Objective achieved. Hey, objective Depart achieved. Yes, let's leave here. I wonder if they deliberately said not to bring the Rotec lasers. Archaeopteryx has been destroyed and the Empire cannot now carry out Operation Veraldendir. I wanted to see Sir, me squirm a bit. <laughs> FF morale has risen once more. I don't hear any cheering. Nope, no cheering. Coming from the bowels of my ship. I'm sure people are happy somewhere in the FF. Yeah, no black screen. Nice. All right, money for stuff. Uh, got a plasma gun. Got a, 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 a rail gun. Flamethrower gun. Got a plasma gun. Got a plasma gun. Got a plasma gun. Flamethrower gun. Rail gun. Driss. I think that's actually a more powerful version of the railgun. Alright, hey, S rank. Pretty good accuracy, too. 300,000 extra funds just for the S rank. And that is awesome. New burst plasma gun. Okay, interesting. Yes, no black the screen. Empire's strategy was nipped in the bud, and our reputation was growing rapidly amongst the FF. With our successes, the overall morale of the FF was increasing. FF Command could not let this chance slip by. All Allied forces were organized and began to deploy. Battle was joined against the Empire on a global scale. Our entry into this parallel world war has had a massive influence on the history of a world not our own. Hmm. Very good point, sir. We don't even belong here. And we are making a massive difference in the turn of events in the timeline of this place. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. What shall we do? Engines first. Yes, let's go get some new engines. And while we're in here, we can also check out Railgun Driz and the Rotac Laser. See what they look like. And in terms of uh, size and shape and stats and all that stuff. Might try to equip the Rotac laser, depending on what it's shaped as. Uh, okay, let's see. Optical Rotac laser. Oh, it's a little turret. This is a pretty small little turret, too. All things considered. I put this anywhere already? Mm, probably not. You know, I probably could put it on the front, though, if I moved all of those back. Then I'd have the weird raised up look to these guns, but if it means having a really good laser 
for anti-sub weaponry on my ship, uh, I'll take it. Now let's put this back, and move you guys back as well. Actually, we need to raise each of you, uh, like so. Alright, that makes a big difference, actually. Raise you up one, put you in the middle-ish, there we go. Alright, let's try that again. Mm, Rotac laser. Hey, it fits! We're slightly overweight, but if we sell all of these Atomic Engine 7s... There we go. So, the new Atomic Engine should be significantly better because... We'll go over the stats again here in just a second. Um, if we look at 7, which is what we're using, has 15,000 output and 1,200 weight. Now, this one has less output by one-fifth, but the weight goes down by one-half. So the power-to-weight ratio is way better in these engines than in the other ones. So we definitely want to buy at least 12 of these. And, whoops, uh, yes, there we go. And we also want to go and sell the old ones. Sell Atomic Engine 7. Yes, sell all of those, excuse me. Um, all right, let's uh, see, engines, boilers. But we're not actually using boilers. All right, atomic engine uh, eight. Let's put a few of these guys down here. See how we're looking. I am gonna have less output, but I'm also gonna be lighter. So we should be a little bit faster by the end of this. Maybe. Uh, I think we're actually a touch slower, but we have more weight to work with now, which is great. Okay, um, other thing. Let's see, the railgun. Let's see what we have with this railgun driss here. Uh, slightly stronger. The other stats appear to be the same, though. And, and I say slightly, I mean very slightly. Like, only a thousand damage differences. Not that much, to be perfectly honest. So, hmm, I don't know. Not sure how I feel about that. The new burst plasma is another one that we got. Um, though I don't know how good it is. It's hard to say. Depends on how the projectile is fired. Like, sometimes the lasers do weird things, and the weird thing that they do actually sometimes hinders their performance rather than helps it. So, yeah. Um, anyways, we got the new engines on here, and we got the new Rotac laser on as well. Let's check on aircraft. We have all of our aircraft, right? Yeah. We didn't fire off any, or fire off any, what am I saying? We didn't use any in the last mission, but I couldn't remember if we lost any in the mission before that. Evidently we didn't. So, we have the weight limit now. I mean, we could try to... I mean, we could try to... get a couple more engines on here, huh? You know? We could probably fit, like, four more on here. Like this. I bet we can do it. And even if I can't get all four on here pretty comfortably... Let's uh, see, that's not gonna work. Um, you know, then I'll have a couple in extra... Or a couple in reserve for when I go for the, uh... Twin Hull Battleship to have these new engines. There we go, now we're faster. If I felt like spending the money, I could go for some more. Um... That would also involve, like, repositioning most of these up here, which I don't really want to do. Well, I guess I could. Uh, let's see, let's put you here, and you there, and you there, and that probably would leave room for another one here. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see how fast we can get it. Two more atomic engines, please. Let's, let's see what we got here. I might even be able to fit more, but I'm not going to get too crazy with this here. This is plenty. Also, I do want to eventually have enough money to get these on the Twin Hole Battleship, so I don't want to spend all of my money on this right now. Uh, but, let's see, 51, 51.8 knots. Okay, well, that's pretty amazing. If I did a little more shifting, I might be able to fit some more, maybe? Eh, I don't think so. Because all of these are only going to be able to go... Well, okay, let's try that again. All of these are only going to be able to get to go... Uh, one more space forward here, as you can see. 
because we just figured out that these guns can't go any more farther forward. So these will only get to go one space further forward. And I'm not sure that will make enough space back here for another one. But anyways, I mean, that's, I mean, we're doing like 52 knots. And we have some pretty awesome weapons, so... I will take it all day long. Okay, let's see what the next mission has for us. And, uh, yeah, see what the briefing says. Let's see, briefing, C1. Guard the troop transports. Oh, at least I have aircraft to help me. Reading communication from Mission Command. To advance Operation Alchemy, you are asked to aid the landing at the Carolines. Uh. Transports for our landing troops will embark on this heading. Your assignment is to escort and protect these transports. Uh. There are enemy gun emplacements positioned along your route. Uh. It never stops. Enemy airfields in the no. Beware of oh, air man. I hate Prepare escort missions. Good luck. <sighs> Alright. Let's do it. What better ship than this thing with its 12 interceptors? Ah, no black screen. There's a, there's a silver lining here. We can get a black screen this time. This thing looks so crazy. And again, the scary thing is, we're not... I mean, that that wouldn't even be impossible to build. What you see there. <laughs> now, the, the rail guns probably wouldn't be up there. Um, not on the flight deck, of course. That that wouldn't physically work, but... Launch air flight. It's not out of the Anti question that we could build a ship similar alert. to this. So these Rotac lasers... Oh, I don't like these kind with the four laser beam things. They don't work that well. Like, ever. Ah, man. I don't know how I'm gonna like this this Rotac laser here. Oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> I do love my railgun. More ships inbound to the northeast of us. That's a big ship. What are you, sir? There's a couple of big ships. Okay, good. They're done. Another thing. What am I locked onto right now? Oh, another one. There we go. I see. And then let's head to the northeast, I guess, and see what's back there. Can I see them yet? Uh, they can see the transports, whatever it is. Hey, stop that. There we go. There's also some to the south of the transport group right now. Where is that enemy flat top? There it is. I see it. I got it. Nice. Okay, the flat top is down. There's a little ship here. There we go. Got it. Now, that should be all of the ships in the north. So now let's turn south and face these guys here. What are you? Can't see. Oh, that was a bad shot. Also a bad shot. That was better. There we go. Uh, they're a lot tougher, whatever they are. Uh-oh. 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 I, I can't do much about this. I'm doing the best I can to sink these guys as quick as I can, but they are tough. What are these things? Eminence class? Yeah, sure seem to be. They're so tough. Go down already. Stop sinking my transports. Okay, now... New focus of our attention. Has to be forward, because there are going to be gun batteries. I hate escort missions. You guys see, I'm doing, like, everything I can. Now, if I had known that those were Eminence-class battleships, I would have targeted them first, and not the carrier group, because my interceptors are doing fine with the planes. But still, like... There's not a whole lot I could do better here. Okay, southwest. Let me check the events thing here. Uh, yeah, but that's... Okay, that one's not in the events list yet for some reason. Oh, good. More planes down there. Rockets. Rockets. No, oh, turn, 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 turn. Where are those coming from? There, 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 there. Where is it? There it is. There we go. Got it. Okay. Um... Is that a gun battery right there? I think it is. No, it's not. I'm blind. Okay. That might be an airfield, though. Not anymore. Okay. We really need to turn south. I'm so tempted to use my, uh, my, uh, intercept mode to deal with these aircraft. Because that's a lot of planes, and my interceptors can only do so much. Where, where, where? Okay, here we go. Railguns up. Enemy ship 
Oh boy. Enemy ship sunk. Gotta get these carriers out of commission. Enemy ship sunk. There we go. Carriers are down. Now for the escorts. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. Pressure off now. Finally. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. Oh dang it! I hate escort missions. A lot of them do that. Landing successful. The Caroline Islands have been saved from the Empire. I hate escort missions. Not just because you have to escort, you know, floating paper, but also because. A lot of them in this game, anyways, kick you out. Don't give you a chance to go get stuff. So, getting an S rank is, well, you know, not really possible. Because you can't get the survivors because you have to defend the ships. You can get an A rank all day long, but that's about it. Oh, that's a crappy A rank for second playthrough. Dang, I don't think the S rank would have been much better, though. Usually the S and A rank rewards for any given mission are pretty similar as far as, like, category of what they are. You know, cannon or laser or hull or bridge or whatever. Alrighty. Uh, tech, yeah, not enough really, so we'll hold off on that for now. Uh, and that will do it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.